Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your first overview and gameplay of the F-16C. This is a currently rank 8 battle rating 12.0 fighter that will be coming to the US Air Tech Tree in the Sons of Attila major update. Of course, this is the dev server. Bear in mind, everything that you see in this dev server is subject to change, but typically once they're pretty far like this, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty damn certain that they're going to be at least very, very close to whatever these stats and figures are and all that. That being said, this is pretty much just an overall platform upgrade over the standard F-16A and the ADF, except it really just doesn't get any better missiles. So in terms of air combat, the only thing that makes this thing any better than the earlier ones are the things that it's equipped with, like a better radar, a better engine. So this engine does, I think, so it's got 11,480 KGF, whereas this has 9,000. So it's got a pretty hefty amount more, although it does weigh a bit more. This is 1,805 kilograms. This is 1,470. So it's a pretty hefty engine. It's about an extra fifth heavier. So it's a pre pretty damn hefty uh, engine. Engine. But again, the missiles are the same in this. You only have the AIM 9Ls and the AIM 7Ms. In the future, apparently, they will be bringing AMRAMs, the AIM 120s, to this. But as of right now, they said that they are just a little bit too powerful for the game, and so they won't bring them in, at least currently, even though, of course, the MiG 29 SMT has R73s and also the R27 ET. Now, what this does have is a better CAS suite. So it does have the Lightning 2 targeting pod, which is really, really nice and it does also have some gbus as some some laser guided bombs i believe if i'm not mistaken so it's it's a really really nice platform overall it's a decent enough upgrade when it comes to air combat because you will be able to maintain energy a bit better in this but that's pretty much it now this does also have an enhanced rwr which is really nice but nothing really all too much beyond that again the engine of the radar importantly it is also uh something to note here this does have helmet mounted display which is great which means that basically what will happen is wherever your pilot's looking like wherever your camera is that's where the aiming reticle will be for the missiles and that's where they'll lock so you should be able to perform better maneuvers with your missiles with that but again these are aim 9 l's or not aim 9 m's or anything like that so we'll have to wait and see how useful that is that being said let's get into a few matches see what we could do and have a good time but, uh yeah the f-16c this is pretty much again the platform is overall upgraded, but the air-to-air -air weapons aren't, whereas the MiG-29 SMT, the platform is overall the same, doesn't get any engine upgrades, but the missiles are way better. So eh, I think missiles are going to be a bit in the uh, MiG-29 SMT's favors, but that's it. Let's get into it. Now, a few important things to note here before we start killing or getting killed by enemies. The cockpit uh, currently does not exist in the dev server, so even though this is an improved cockpit apparently, I can't use it. Additionally, this does have an improved RWR, so I can actually tell what sort of vehicles are targeting me. Uh, before in a test match, I had a MiG-29 and, you know, a whole bunch of other enemies, so that's pretty damn cool. And, um, again, this does have that helmet-mounted display, which is fantastic. I love it. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, I do have a MiG-29 SMT gameplay video if you guys ever want to check that out. Um, I personally would strongly recommend it. If not watching mine, watching another YouTuber's MiG-29 SMT. Because I really think that if those missiles with the R-73 and also the R-27ET go into game versus this that has the same old, you know, weak flare, like easily flared off aim 9 l's we are gonna have a problem like r 73s are entirely superior to the aim 9 l's the r27 et is superior or at least the er i guess that's a better analog is superior to the um, aim 7 m's i mean the aim 7 m's don't get me wrong are good but in my opinion they are better uh but this does have a better radar i mean like look at that like see how big that tracking field was fantastic but this also does have the uh, beautiful Betty, let's just call it that, where it tells you like, oh, you're going too fast or you got over G or something. Getting too close to the ground. You know, stuff that you already know. Oh, look at that, MiG-21. Okay, let's fight. No, he's dead. Picked a bad one to, to look at. So, uh, I really want to get this MiG-29 here. That'd be nice. Okay, we have an AIM-7M. Let's fire. 
And for good measure, I may even fire... Ooh, look at that tracking! Oh, no, it wasn't quite as good as I thought. The aim, set, the aim 9L took it over. <laughs> that sucks! Wow. Okay. Now, bear in mind, also, there are a lot of bots here. Um, so that's probably what... You know, that's just dev server gameplay, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. There are just a lot of bots... So you can kind of show off all your technology, but really, again, this is just a better F-16 rather than an F-16 being equipped with better missiles, um, if that makes a level of sense. So I'm going to go fire my AIM-9L on this guy. Then we have some, uh, you know what, I apparently don't have any um, AIM-7s anymore, so let's go ahead and do this and then go for a gun kill, maybe, against uh, this SU-25. Got three kills there, real quick. Doing pretty damn well. I really did not do myself any favors here. I don't know if you guys can hear, but uh, it keeps saying over G. I mean, I guess I am a G. This guy is not gonna flare. Well, maybe he will. Got a hit. Got the kill, very nice. Okay, so that said, let's get into another match, see what we could do, but not too bad. I mean, again, this thing, it's not like you're taking... Like, when it comes to new vehicles at this point, at least when it comes to aircraft, they're more of a show of what type of technology, like what sort of weapons they can carry. And this is carrying the same old weapon. So while the performance on this, admittedly, is quite good. You know, I'm not going to deny that. It's, it's pretty good. I would say, likely, despite the stat card i would say it's likely better performance um even in spite of also having a higher weight did uh, a heavier engine but overall i mean it just kind of feels like us you know what screw it this is a better f-16 it's better that radar is really what sells it um that's a big big deal and that's gonna make the oh look at that we have a floating aa island there but that new radar is going to make the aim 7ms a lot more effective and re Ooh, that was ugly so we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens but that said let's get into another match i mean this it's kind of again the weapons aren't better but everything around them is better okay that said let's get into another match i mean i'll tell you guys what this plane is a bit better than i expected genuinely i didn't expect it to be as good as it is um, at least, again, on the dev server, again, anything can change, so, you know, anything that you see here is up for change, and that's kind of Gaijin's motto when it comes to dev server stuff, right? But, in general, I'm actually, again, very impressed with this thing. Like, it has good maneuverability, like, the performance is better, you know, noticeably better, to the extent that, uh, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily feel like a totally different aircraft but it, it definitely feels good um you know a, a bit more usable so to speak so let's see if we can out turn this mig 23 yes we can flare off just in case and i don't think i still don't think that this is going to be at all competitive compared to an smt right like the smt is going to be much better than this aircraft unfortunately um i feel pretty confident in saying that um i just don't really think that this has the capabilities not because this is a bad aircraft this is definitely a better aircraft compared to again the f-16a i i know it like this is better uh, but it's just it doesn't have the weapons you know um unfortunately it just doesn't have the weapons that you might want in order to be truly competitive at and around this BR. So let's go ahead and fire on this guy with an AIM-9 or an AIM-7M. Hopefully I can hit him. Now these are bots. Uh, looks like I will get that. Hit! Maybe? Maybe? Yes! There we go. Very nice. You know, you have to fight. Like, you can't choose who you fight. You can't, like, choose who's on the schedule, so to speak. But, of course, you can do as well as you can... Uh, regardless of what the schedule is. And as you can see, there's pretty much only bots at this point. Uh, except for that guy, but he's being swarmed, it looks like. Maybe by bots, I'm not sure. But anyways, so 
the helmet mounted display, the increased engine power, and the better radar definitely, I mean, 100% definitely make this into a substantially better plane. And if, if I haven't already said it, did I say it? The, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hopefully my ally doesn't get killed because that looks like it just went for my ally. But everything kind of gets improved with this except for the weapons. Now, once the AMRAMs come to War of Thunder, that'll be something else entirely. And I feel like this plane is going to be transformed. But again, better performance is great. The helmet mounted display, despite the fact that I didn't really use it all too much, I still use it a little bit and it helps. And the, um, you know, the, the radar as well. It's just fantastic. Now, you know, it's the little things a lot of the time that really separate an aircraft from, from other ones. And I think that uh, once this gets those AMRAMs, this is going to be a totally better aircraft. Um, again, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I don't really think that this is incredible. And again, I think that in general, the... Um, the SMT will be more effective than this. In general, I, I've got very little doubt in my mind because it offers similar performance, a still still a good radar, and of course better missiles because, I mean, I'd rather have the R-73s and the uh, any day over the AIM-9Ls. I mean, if you guys want, again, check out that video. The, they have thrust vectoring. The R-73s uh, have thrust vectoring. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Um... But they, they can just make any turns that they want, whereas these can't. Um, so either way, thanks so much for watching. I mean, this match is pretty much over. Such is the dev server. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I genuinely appreciate all of it. You know, I, I don't know if you guys know, but, uh, you know, every, every time that I interact with you guys, even if you just watch my videos, it, it really does mean the world to me. So... That said, thanks again, and I will see you all on the other side. Not too terrible for a dev server match. Take care, everyone. You know what? Screw it. We have an enemy here. Aim 7M. Take care, everyone.